there are even deeper sources than the one I will mention here. But we must begin on familiar ground. A human's every waking moment is spent chasing pleasure. Some actions are subtle, some are not. But each and every action is motivated by pleasure. Avoiding conflict, entering into conflict, pursuing entertainment, signing a business deal, getting the right shower temperature before entering, making the bed or leaving it unmade, playing a certain music, reading a book, choice of clothes, opening a letter, calling a friend, choice of foods, choosing which employees to hire, giving an interview, going for a walk, checking text messages, applying perfume, controlling another, reading a horoscope, giving to charity. Every minute of a human's life is spent chasing pleasure. Even the things that you do not find pleasurable, there is some pleasure that you gain from them in some way. Otherwise, you simply would not do them. Somewhere within the domino effect of the action is a domino of pleasure. It may not be in the act of doing, but it exists somewhere downstream. What is wrong with chasing pleasure? There is nothing wrong with anything. Wrong and right is a societio religious creation. A human that constantly chases pleasure must be one that is always dissatisfied. The same way that an animal that always chases food must be one that is always hungry. Chasing pleasure brings pleasure, but it does not bring satisfaction. In fact, it is precisely because it does not bring satisfaction that one must keep chasing it. For if it brought satisfaction, one would chase it once, receive it once, and be done with it. But pleasure does not have the ability to quench human thirst. A human is in search of satisfaction. He craves it. But no matter what he or she has attained, no matter how many millions of adoring fans he or she may have, no matter how much wealth he or she has amassed, satisfaction remains elusive. For a moment, the human thinks he has it. Then suddenly it vanishes. A human will do anything and everything to feel good. He will do anything and everything to fill himself with a good sensation. This is his ultimate drug. I do not tell any human being to stop chasing pleasure. I simply reveal in stark detail the state of affairs. Today, you will chase 60, 140 pleasures. You will gain satisfaction from zero. Pleasure is an attraction of the mind. The mind has no interest in satisfaction. It is a pleasure-seeking machine. But this does not apply to you. If you continue to chase pleasure, you will feel more and more empty. If you stop chasing pleasure, you will think of pleasure. If you try to stop thinking of pleasure, you will not be able to sustain it. Prescriptions do not cure disease. They perpetuate disease and create new diseases upon the original disease. After reading this discourse, the first action you make will be the beginning of the pleasure chase. You will chase, and you will chase, and you will chase. You will grow old. Your beauty will fade. Your skin will sag. Your cheeks will become hollow. Your eyes will sink. The vitality that you once knew will drain out of you like precious oil from a race car. This is the natural course of a human being that has spent his entire life chasing pleasure. You will say that this is natural, that this is called getting old. I understand that this is what you have come to believe. I will not disrupt your belief. A human being becomes less human each day that he lives. He does not evolve. This is a myth, except for the rarest of human beings. He devolves. His entire life is a speeding train that is headed for a cliff. He believes the train is headed toward heaven. But as he looks at the scenery through the window, he knows that something is not quite right. He quietly senses that he is in for a terrible surprise. This is why he lives with anxiety. And this is why he dies with it.